Yeah, one of the one of these two needs an attitude adjustment. Let's <laughs> see. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Who okay. cursing in this? Thank you guys so much for coming. This is the first time we've ever done this panel because uh, this series is uh, we haven't officially shot it yet. Um, we're going to show you some footage from. Our Kickstarter, which thanks to you and the amazing support that we got from the fans, is fully funded. Uh, we're shooting, um, we're starting shooting at a, a convention in January, and then we're doing a couple of other episodes. So this is all preliminary, fun, crazy stuff, and then we're going to read some scenes. Yeah, from we, we from have the show. Some scenes from the script. So you guys will be the first people to see or hear any of this. Uh, most of the cast hasn't even seen the full script yet. Uh, we just got these scenes yesterday. Yep. So it's very fresh. It'll be like a table read. Um, do you guys know anything about Confessionals? Has anybody seen anything online? Why don't you tell them all about it? <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you, Bryce. Uh, so Confessionals is a web series uh, starring uh, real voice actors in a mockumentary office slash arrested development style uh, we are not playing ourselves as i hope you will know if you know me at all from watching this i am not like this at all um and bryce is <laughs> bryce is much smarter <laughs> <laughs> oh and we're also not really twins shocking yeah um, you're not related? Not really. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we just play twins on TV. Yes. So we will show you this. Uh, I will. You guys know YouTube, and you watch YouTubers. And is anybody here like language of the adult? Not really proper great words. This is gonna like ruin their Sunday. And of course, we're doing it on a Sunday. Um, <laughs> Good morning. Church or listen um, to Share Me Curse? Share <laughs> uh, me. So, would any, is anybody like, no, you are ruining my life. How dare you say those words? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Step outside for like seven minutes and then we'll let you come, or ten minutes and then we'll let you come back in if you hate language. But otherwise, this is, so we're good? Enjoy. He's gonna kill me. All right. Tuesday, I can't believe we're doing this. It's like we're begging. I mean, we are world renowned voice actors. I, Riley Star, do not beg. I mean, you. You, on the other hand, you can beg. Really? Really? Yeah. Sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Ricky! Why didn't you tell me? You tried to tell me. Hi! Hi, guys! I, as you all know, am Riley Star, and this. This is my lovely brother, Reese. We're the Bag and Flock twins. Christian, no, you're a Bag and Flock. I had the good sense to dump that ridiculous last name. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you would. Anyway, <laughs> this is super exciting. It's a secret, but we want to let you in on it because we are starting our very first online series chronicling our journey as voice actor celebrities. But we need your help. Oh, you know who can help? Um, Mickey Malcolm. If we yeah, no, 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 we are not doing anything with that pompous ass hat. <laughs> yeah. What I meant by that is that I love Mickey. He's such a doll. Um, but he's really busy a lot. He's got a lot of exciting projects. And we don't want to bother him with this. Besides, we don't need his help. Uh, I wish you would have said something uh, before, uh, before I asked him to send something in. Grace, are you serious? I do not put that smug British bastard in any of our- Red to leather yellow girl. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping. Rapping on my cheek. <laughs> New York, unique New York. Seven swans swam silkily on the seven seas. Seven swans swam silkily on the seven seas. Ah, how distinctly I remember. It was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. It's unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, New York, New York, unique New York. Ah. Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stuff. 
scarf. I know it, it's the scarf. <laughs> it's fun. But um, as long as you don't, you know, show any of the behind the scenes footage of me and, you know, share my top secret process as an actor, that's fine. I, I won't have to kill you if you don't show that. <laughs> Reese, is the world going to discover what it would be like if I were twinless? <laughs> and he told the editor it's okay if he uses your booth recordings. So... <laughs> okay, okay! Mr. Editor, now would be a really good time to cut away because our lovely, lovely fans are not going to want to see what is about to happen! Monday morning's like the con of the worst, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was perfect. I'm sorry, did people wait in line for hours to see you? Didn't think so. Let's just trust the professionals, okay? This is not my character. This is Walla. Can you, uh, maybe, maybe you can't see my eyes. I don't fucking do Walla. This is ridiculous. No, this, yeah, 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 okay, fine, whatever. Vinny, please hold on for a second. You're the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Okay? Okay. Yeah, no. That's totally gonna fit the flaps. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. He gets paid for a reason. Tell him to fucking make it fit the flaps. <laughs> so hard to watch. Um, that was actually one of the most trying days for me as an actor. I was dealing with a lot of personal stuff. You know what? We're like family, so I'm gonna tell you. Um, that was actually the day that my grandma was talking about. No, um, but I was talking about our other grandmother. Mimi? Yeah, she's on a retreat in Colorado Rockies. Hey, Ray Sam. Who's there? Shut up! <laughs> Okay, you know, never mind. Uh, we're not really going to talk about that. Anyway, that's totally off topic. What is on topic is our new online series. And we need your help to get it off the ground. So all you have to do is give us all of your money. Or you can just a dollar. Every little bit helps. Really? You're really terrible at this. Like, honestly, you're an idiot. Um, Oh my god, thank you so I'm much. I'm thirsty, so... Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you know who else is thirsty, Leslie? You have to do that. No, no problem. It's just oh so, my god. So Can nice I get you. the water now, actually? Seriously. It's like the perfect temperature. This is more pathetic than your character voices. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll all save you! <laughs> and now with no sugar. More energy? And now with more sugar! Oh, it's less sugar? Just ask Calvin Gecko! <laughs> yeah, he's the man! Well, I'll save you even if they'll kill me. <laughs> this is so cool that I get to play this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, laugh harder. <laughs> I'm going to steal your soul. <laughs> uh, what? More evil. Okay. I'm coming to steal your soul! Get it? <laughs> Seriously, it's so nice of you. Okay, yeah, we get it. You're a grateful dope, but she's a nerdy sweetheart. And we love it, it's precious, but can we please move on and wrap this up? I've got shit to do. <laughs> I brought you a muffin. <laughs> It's a favorite. Oh! Huh? Everybody get down! Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't you want to see how this ends? Tell me. It's written. So, which voice actors do you two look up to? Mm. Um, that's a great question, and actually there's a lot of voice actors that I personally look up to. Wow. Now, do you have a good time or kind of like something up? Are you serious, Riley? I look up to all our peers. Okay, well we don't really have time to hear you ramble about every voice actor you work with, so why don't you just drool over the hot candy corn and let's call it a day. Well, I mean, hot candy corn is raw candy corn. He's just... Wow. Okay, you know what? Here is a major candy corn fan. He has got every single rock candy corn poster all over his walls and every bit of rock candy corn merch he can get his little fanboy hands on. Oh, and every Halloween he dresses up as rock candy corn and then passes out candy corn to every 
Then go out and take some classes, get lots of experience. And then, last, stay passionate. Don't ever give up, and I promise it'll pay off in a big way. Wow, that is so amazing. I wonder who thought of that. It's genius, really. Hey, Riley, mm -hmm. uh, I could use your help with this audition. Oh, uh, is that for that new bad take game? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, because you know it's going to go to Drake Albert. No, 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 I'm not going to read for the bad guy. It doesn't matter. That franchise, like, loves Trey Hopper. They give him whatever role they can have. I still think I've got a shot. Well, good for you. I hope you're right. I believe in myself. You're a terrible pirate. Roughly. Uh, we have some outtakes online as well that you guys can uh, check out if you like. Um, so, roughly, yeah, the show is us being silly, me being horrible, and uh, Greg's being uh, adorably naive. <laughs> Questionably not so bright, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. Do, do you want to launch into the scenes, or should we take questions and then do scenes? I, mean, I, I think maybe what, what could be fun is to talk a little bit about why we're doing this and how it sort of came about. Yeah, go for it. Um, I, I think going to, con uh, to conventions, I always get this question, you know, what is your strangest fan experience, or what sort of things has have happened to you in, in all these events that you've been to? And um, it's really fun to be on panels with other voice actors that have these sort of wacky stories. Um, I haven't run into as many things as Shermie has. I really haven't had that crazy of experiences. <laughs> but, but she has had some, some really funny ones, I think. Um, so one experience uh, happened at a convention. When was this? A few years this ago. This was a couple years ago. Um, where, well, I, I think it's better if, if you tell it about okay. how we came to us being related. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys heard me yesterday. Uh, I was at a convention. I met this fan in the hallway. Uh, and she, she was like, I just think it's so cool. I love sword art. And I bet it's so weird working with your brother. And I was like, I don't. He did act, but he doesn't now. And she was like, Bryce isn't an actor anymore? And I was like, <laughs> No, Bryce is an actor. Yeah, Bryce is not my brother. And she goes, 
oh, oh, right, because you're you're married in the show. I was like, no, Bryce is, n Bryce is not related to me in, in Sword Art or just in life, actually. Uh, and I was like, we're friends? And she goes, why are you denying your brother? <laughs> Because we're we're not related. We're not. Bryce and I are not related. She goes, "Don't do this to him. He's your brother. He deserves your respect." And I was like, "We're not." And she goes, "Don't do this." And I was like, "You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. He's my brother." I sometimes just forget. Uh, but yeah, and she goes, "I bet Christmas is so fun." I was like, "It's so fun. I love it so much." Like, hey, you're late. I was like, yeah, we're related. Um, like, what? I go, if anybody asks, we're related. Don't do this to her. Like, don't do this to me. Because she's going to find me and kill me. And it won't be because of any role that I did. It will be because I denied you as my sibling. Don't do this to me. And uh, Bryce's like, okay. So we joked about it. And then, like, I don't know if this girl told a lot of people or that story got around because we explained it in the panel. <laughs> the person's actually goes, barely we're related. And everybody in the audience was like, crickets? <laughs> like, I gotta walk you through this moment. Um, so, people would come up to me at other sessions, they're like, yeah, so you and Bryce are related. And I'm like, I don't know if they think this is real or if they think it's a joke. And either way, I'm just gonna go, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want this to go badly. Uh, so we were joking, and I think we were on the way back to uh, the airport, and my husband, who plays the bomb guy who runs across and attacks Jimmy. Sandra with a muffin. The bodyguard. Jimmy. Yes. Um, so uh, my actual husband, who also wrote the series, we were talking, and uh, his wife Samantha was in the car, and we were like, wouldn't it be funny if we did like this funny web series where we were siblings, and then it kind of like spiraled out of like, well, we could get someone else, and we would tell, we were talking to Tatum, and he was like, I want to be in it, and, uh, and so my husband was like, what if Tatum was British? Uh, and, uh, and Tatum goes, yes, but not really British, and he was like, or, or you know, just always British. Um, so this is, these are things that we'll figure out as the show progresses, and it's been amazing. The amount of support that we've had from the fans has been overwhelming. Uh, they funded our Kickstarter, uh, but even the support with the voice actors has been amazing. People are like, hey, can you uh, put me on that web series? You got a role for me? Um, and so we've got the first five episodes written, and we're hoping to do more. Uh, it will not look like this. This was like shot in our living room, hence the Pokemon plush everywhere. <laughs> we do not have a large apartment. Bryce can attest to the fact of that. And 40% of it is dominated by Pokemon plush. Yes, it's true. Um, there so are, are walls of Pokemon plush. It's a lot. They're not mine. They're my husband's. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, not that I, I don't love our Pokemon plush children, but you know. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so it will not look like this. We've got a great camera crew and um, and a great team that we're assembling and tons more voice actors on board with cameos. I know uh, Jamie Markey has been announced to be in it. She will be playing uh, Mickey Malcolm, AKA J. Michael Tatum's agent. Uh, Aaron Dismuke will be her assistant. Uh, David Vincent is going to be in it. Um, Spike Spencer. Spike Spencer is our agent. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, we, we've got a lot of other people that we're assembling and crazy fan experiences. We're actually shooting at SAC Anime in January, so we'll be shooting at the convention. At a con. At a con. We're going to be setting up a panel. There's going to be fans there. It's going to be crazy. So all of the things that you want to hear that happens at a convention, crazy stories of like voice actors getting tackled or huge fights erupting on stage, uh, little squabbles in the booth or between fake siblings. Um, <laughs> all of that will occur in a crazy uh, way. I will say, for my own benefit, I think all of the voice actors in this are lovely people. None of us are horrible human beings, <laughs> like my character, but it's really fun to play really mean and spiteful and awful. Um, so yeah. Um, why, why don't we talk a little bit about like the script and the characters and, and who we are. Okay. Um, I, I really love the names that John came up with. 
um, as I was reading through the script, I, I kept coming across these these different names, and I'm like, why do they sound so familiar? And he, <laughs> he really played off of actual voice actor names. Yeah. So my character's name is Reese Babinflock. Uh, very it similar. It sounds a bit like Pappenbrook. Yes. Which I love. Yeah. Um, um, and Riley Lee would be my middle name. Uh, and clearly Star is made up, but I love stars, so he just wanted to harass me with that. Um, uh, another actor in this in this confessionals world is Rod Candy Corn. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of an actor called Todd Habercorn. Um, I don't, we're, we're, we're hopefully going to get Todd involved at some point in this project, we're not sure. The man is crazy busy. Um, but yeah, whether people are going to be involved or not, we certainly have uh, thrown their names in there as recognizable aliases. Uh, Troy Cobbler. Uh, Trey Cobbler. Trey Cobbler. A bit like Troy Baker. <laughs> uh, so we had a lot of fun with that. There's also shows that we've worked on. Uh, Riley Starr has worked on a show called Pixie Tales. Uh, there's Sword Sketch Online. Sword Sketch Online. <laughs> Wait, it was Sword Sketch, not online. Sword Sketch. I have no idea. John was like asking me like, what's? Oh, that was the other thing. So there's uh, Blue, I think Blue, uh, Blue Butler or something like that. And now, now it's getting to the point that he doesn't know what the actual names of the shows are. He's so used to confessionals. So he was talking to someone at an anime convention. He was like, Yeah, Blue Butler, I love that show. And the guy goes, Blue Exorcist. He goes. What? <laughs> he goes, no, no, no. I said he had come up with another name for Blue Exorcist. I was like, he's creating a universe that is not real. <laughs> Black Butler. John. Black Butler. Uh, so there's a lot of those little nuggets in there that you will find uh, that you can relate to and find your shows. Uh, and we're really excited to hear from the fans and give you guys more of what you want. Uh, you get a little bit of who our characters are. Oh, and also Tatum's um, Tatum's lovely significant other, uh, Brandon McInnes. I, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. He's playing Bartholomew, which is uh, Mickey Malcolm, Tatum's character's uh, significant other as well. Um, so there's a, a little bit of footage that Brandon sent in. Brandon is like a fashion designer, and uh, in, in his footage, this is all online, so you can check it out. He needs to order a set amount of kimonos, and he wants them overnighted from Japan. And everyone's like, you can't, that's not like possible. He goes, I'm asking for 97 kimonos. <laughs> he goes, no, not 99, you moron. Like, I mean, it's just like all of this absurdity. Uh, and there's so much of it is improvised, so we just have a lot of fun. And uh, I mean, it's just great for us to be absurd. Uh, Cassandra's character, Lexi, is the assistant to Spike Spencer, our agent. She's very shy, uh, very sweet and adorable. Uh, which Cassandra was like, when am I going to get to like lash out at someone? Because like everybody is really mean to me thus far. <laughs> I'm like, well, not everybody, just me, actually, is really mean to you. Uh, and Spike is a wheeling dealing, like everything you would think from like a slimy, fast talking agent, that's Spike, which uh, he's gonna play that so great. And he's such a loving teddy bear sort of a guy. Yeah. Um, the first season, we're all trying to get to go to this big convention, uh, and it's run by a guy named Cash Jackson, which is uh, David Vincent's character. Yes. And I'm very excited to see how that goes as well. Um, Jamie Markey's gonna be playing like a really harsh, uh, ball-busting agent. She takes no crap from anybody. I don't know why I'm censoring myself now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and do you, do you wanna talk about anybody else's characters or? Um, I, I think you did a good okay. job of not spoiling. I know, I'm trying much. like, trying to, Tread very lightly. It, it's still very new for us. Um, like Sherry mentioned earlier, we still haven't sat down and, and done a table read. So we haven't gone through the entire script in full. Things are still getting adjusted and updated. The, the crew is really still coming together. Yeah. So it's, it's a really fun project to be a part of at this point because we're still kind of collaborating and brainstorming and, and it's still coming together. Um, like 
even between those two videos, my ch my character changed a lot. Yeah. Uh, I put a hat on in the second one, um, and I, Bryce Pappenbrook, I don't wear hats ever. And I was trying, we were trying to figure out a way to separate Reese from Bryce because I, I think both of us are, are very, very nice, very friendly. Yeah. Um, Reese is friendlier than I am. He's like me times a million. Um, so I, I think in the show, Reese is always going to be wearing hats, um, and that's going to kind of separate my persona and help me get into that character, which is going to be interesting. We don't know what is going to separate Riley from Jeremy completely. John really loves that pink scarf. I feel like Riley doesn't need to wear a pink scarf in every scene. Specifically that one pink scarf in every scene. That's the Riley in me coming out. I will not wear that scarf in every scene. Um, but yeah, I feel like my personality enough is being like a horrible, spiteful, ungrateful, hostile <laughs> individual is enough. But we'll see. Does if anybody she, gets see Jeremy do that is hilarious because I mean, Sherry's the nicest person in the world. I mean, I wouldn't say the nicest. You're I one try, of the nicest I try people. to be kind. But Riley is a horrible person. She's a horrible human being. <laughs> and, uh, John wrote something. Obviously, it's my husband writing. So I'm reading the script. I'm like, I'm not saying this. Like, I just cannot say this. He's like, you're an actor. I go, I, I... I will not say this. This is, like, not insulting. This is, like... If I were watching this, I would hate myself as like a fan watching this, even if it wasn't me and it's me. So then I doubly hate myself. Um, so we've still tried to like strike that balance where I'm like, I don't want anybody to hate her, but we've had the feedback from the fans is like, make her meaner. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this, is my, this is my worst fear about doing the show. That somebody's gonna take the confessionals Put it online and be like, share me, Lee. <laughs> and then someone's gonna come up to me at a convention and be like, can I get your autograph? Please don't say mean things to me. <laughs> that is my greatest fear. But if you guys want her to be meaner, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you get people who come up to you and be like, hey, just yell at me. Yeah. This is true. Well, we, we were talking, because we've had like the grand plan of like what we would like to do with this show. Obviously, we, we talked about doing it for this convention, but you guys don't know the characters yet, so it would just be like, why are your wife's price being super naively nice and Jeremy is like a raving lunatic? It's, it's Sunday morning, what happened? Um, so we were gonna, like at some point, we're like, it'd be cool to like do a panel at a convention with Riley, Star, and Reese, Bab, and Flock, and we would just come in being these characters, and you can ask them questions and have us be as crazy as you want us to be, say lines from the fake shows. Um, so that's like the overarching plan of what we would like to do, because uh, we think it would just be a really fun panel for us and you guys to be like, all bets are off, share me, just call me horrible things to my face. Um, and then I will, after the panel, come hug you and cry and say, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I just want you to know that I love you. Because um, I won't be able to sleep at night if I don't apologize. Um, so, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of that plan. I guess we can read the scenes. Or do you guys have any questions that you want us to ask, that we want to ask us before we do scenes? These scenes, nobody. Again, we just saw them yesterday. I, to be quite honest, have not read through the second no, fully. Perfect. So this will be real. This is cold reading. Oh, oh this is the part where you cannot videotape. Okay. As okay, this will be uh, released later, as we haven't shot it. Um, 